Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. If you have this type of issue, please keep watching this video no matter what Mercedes Benz you have. This one is a W164, but this applies to any X164, W164, any R class, S class, CL class. Just to let you know that this might not mean that you have to pay $250 for a new Bosch battery. So all you need to do is push your front seat forward to the end. And then you need to take this cover off. And then you will probably have a duct, air duct, and a cover for the battery. So remove that too. And then all we need to do is test this battery to make sure our main battery is okay. So now that our main battery is good and the connections are clean, Let's go ahead and check the other battery that is over there on the right hand side of the main battery. Make sure all the consumables and ignition is switched off. The best and safest practice is to always remove the negative terminal of the battery. Remove the two 13 millimeter nuts for the clamp of the battery to be able to remove the bracket from the front and lower side of the battery. Also remove the overflow holes from the battery and put it aside. Next we will remove the positive battery terminal. Next, remove your battery from the compartment area. And now we can remove the two terminals from the auxiliary battery and easily remove the auxiliary battery from the compartment. So as you can see, this battery is replaced once as it's not the original Mercedes battery. Let's check out to see what's the voltage reading of this battery. As you can see, this battery voltage has dropped to 4 volts. That means it's a long time that this battery is no good. So let's replace it. First of all, make sure your new battery's specification is exactly the same as it should be. So it should be 12 volt and 1.2 amp. And then the voltage of the battery should not be below 12.5 when fully charged. And as you can see, this battery is in a great condition because it's brand new. Make sure the new battery is installed correctly and the terminals are properly Install. Now this is a good time to clean up the inside the battery compartment area.
much better now. And then put everything back as it was. Don't forget the clamps. Two 13 millimeter bolts for the battery clamp and two 10 millimeter battery terminals. They should be tight and clean. So don't forget to do that. And also don't forget the drain hose for the battery. And now let's go and check out to see if the fault code is there or not. Finally, need to put everything, including that duct for air conditioning and heating, back with the cover as well. So now let's start up the car and see if the fault is still there or not. Just waiting for the fault codes to come up on the screen. I know there are a few lighting problems, but so far no battery indicator whatsoever. And if I screw to the fault codes, I can see that There is none except those. Seems like we have fixed the problem. Thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing. There are a lot of contents for ML class and M272 engine and maintenance on it coming up. So make sure to stay tuned. Have a good day. Thanks.